you hear me now? Yes, Can you hear me now? Can you increase yeah, your do. volume? Yeah. My volume is up. Yeah, yeah. You, we can hear that. Go okay. Ahead. Thank you. Okay. Yes, welcome okay. you all to, to our Yagna. Um, we're so happy that Swamiji can even finally join us. This Yagna was supposed to be in the spring, but Swamiji is involved with so many projects in the South. Now we are having it. So thank you. Thank you so much, Swamiji. And now I'll ask Shankarji to give a brief introduction of Swamiji. Thank you. <coughs> thank you, Abhinaji. Pujya Swamiji and uh, all devotees uh, joining this virtual Ignya Hari Om. It is my great honor and privilege to in introduce uh, Pujya Swami Ramakrishnananda Ji, who will be taking us through this wonderful and important text called Sadhana Panchakam. Swamiji, inspired by Pujya Gurudev's talks and ideals, joined Tamil Vedanta course in Tamarai Pakam, Tamil Nadu, under the guidance of Pujya Swami Sridharananda Ji. In 1995, Swamiji joined the mission as Brahmachari Gagana Chaitanya. And in 2010, he was initiated into Sanyasa Diksha and became Swami Ramakrishnananda Ji as we know him. He has served the mission centers in Trichy, Sri Lanka, Coimbatore, and Reunion Island and is currently Acharya of Chinmaya Mission, Nagapatnam. His unique and delightful manner combined with brilliant wit and an open style of presentation endears him to audiences of all age groups, as we know. Uh, his passion for spreading the knowledge of Sanskrit and his inimitable style to present any subject in an easy way has resulted in a course called Easy Sanskrit, which is now being offered as an online course by Chinmaya, Mission, Chinmaya International Foundation, available also in postal and study kit modes. The syllabus of this course has been designed by uh, Swamiji and Swamiji is an expert in guiding sadhakas through a, a, any complex topic and we are indeed fortunate to have him in our midst to help us understand this small but important text called Sadhana Panchakam by Bhagavad Pada Adi Shankaracharya. Despite his busy schedule, Swamiji graciously agreed to conduct this yajna for us for which we will remain grateful. I have been an admirer of Swamiji despite not attending any of his lectures live, but I did enjoy some of his lectures on YouTube on Hamsa Gita, Advaita on daily life and many others which are readily available. And I also thoroughly enjoyed watching a video of his skydiving experience which was shared on YouTube and Swamiji's delightful smile remained intact at the end of the dive. On behalf of Chinmaya Mission Calgary, I thank Pujya Swamiji for accepting our request to conduct this yajna. I once again welcome Pujya Swamiji and thank you all for joining. Over to you, Swamiji. We are eagerly waiting to listen to you. Thank you all. Are you? Are you? Are you? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, Swamiji. Very clear. Thank Can you. Start? Yes, please. ओ मकरदुंड महाकाय सूर्यकोटि समाप्रभा निर्विग्नम कुरुमे देव सर्वकारी शुसर्वदा सदाशिव समारंभाम मिशंकरा चार्य मध्यमा अस्मदा चार्य पर्यंता मंदे गुरु परंपराम समस्त जन कल्याणे निरतम करुणा मयम नमः मेचिन मयम देवम सदगुरुम ब्रह्मविद्वरम Yes. So our topic for this um, five days, Sadhana Panchan. You can, so I need to have this gallery view. Don't pin me. Ariyom. Raviji, uh, is that action from our side? Uh, you know, Swamiji, what he's asking for? Gallery. Yeah, I made gallery I view. Gallery. Ah, gallery. 
Swamiji's videos, I think. Uh, Did we miss him? Yeah, he's not there. Sometimes his uh, service has got issues, so he'll restart it. This has been kind of like a thing that happens every so often. Oh, okay. So just we hang on. Be... Just hang on. Because he, it, this happened in Chicago. This happened in Badri. And this also happened in, uh, 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 I think Washington DC region. So this happens because he's got a power supply and some power issues. Sometimes it kind of goes off, so it comes back up. So he will, come back. he will make sure to come back. So just yeah. don't worry about it. If there is somebody who can sing bhajans, let them sing bhajans. Just to keep our mind focused on that we are in satsang, we are not anywhere else. So. Manjula ji, why don't you sing a bhajan? Nivita yaka namo namo Siddhi vina yaka namo namo Shakti balaka namo namo Shakti balaka namo namo Nityananda namo namo Nityananda namo namo Chinmaya rupa namo namo Chinmaya rupa namo namo Balaganapate namo namo Bala Ganapate Namo Namo Shanmukha Sodara Namo Namo Shanmukha Sodara Don't put me in a spotlight. Yeah, Just I mean, as, ah. yeah. Are you? Yeah. So I want to see this gallery. <laughs> okay. Now don't touch anything now. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yes, Swamiji. Yes, Swami. We hear you. Ah. So you can see me? Yes. Now, no need to touch anything in your computer. Yes. Awesome. Right. <laughs> we'll, we'll maintain. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> So our topic for five days, the Sadhana Panjagam. There are five slokas in this uh, text. Five slokas, Panchaka. Five slokas, but every sloka has got eight points. So totally we are going to learn 40 points, 40 steps to self-realization. In five days, we are going to realize the self. 40 steps, a simple 40 steps. They are going to realize. So this is the last text Bhagavan Adi Shankar Acharya has given. So we cannot say he composed. He just told the disciples received and they composed it. And they made it as a book for us. This is the last message of Bhagavan Adi Shankar Acharya. The first book, first work of Bhagavan Adi Shankar Acharya is Vishnu Sagasanam. So his guru, Govinda Bhagavad Bada Acharya, they asked him to write commentary for Vishnu Sahasrama. He has written commentary for Vishnu Sahasrama overnight. Only one night. All thousand names of Lord Vishnu's over. Brilliant commentary. That is Bhagavan Adi Shankar Acharya's first work. And this is the last work. Sadhana Panjagam. So when we study the scriptures, Bhagavad Gita, Upanishad, Brahma Sutra and other text. So we, we are learning all the technical things, all the systems, the philosophy, the deep points of the Advaita. 
So when we learn all the things, we are well equipped with many good thoughts, the great thoughts of Advaita philosophy. The another thing we need to have in our life, you learned all the technical aspects, but we need to have some instruction how to apply those things in our life. After studying everything, we need to have instruction. First, we learn car mechanism, how car moves on the road. The boy learns or the girl learns how to drive a car, the mechanism of car. Once if you learn the car, then father gives extra in instruction. Be careful. <laughs> First, uh, the instinct, be careful. Go slow. Don't drive fast. Be alert. So all the instructions are given to that boy. Once if, he, if you are good in the knowledge, the same way, Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya, after he has written a commentary for Bhagavad Gita, Upanishad Brahma Sutra, the final message. So the students of Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya, they ask, Acharya, you are going to uh, end your life. You are going to attain Mahasamadhi. He is going to Himalayas and disappears. And the students came together and they asked, please instruct us, what is your last message? Even though they studied so many years. Even we also like that one. Even though we study so many years from the teacher, what is your last message? <laughs> Whatever I have given you, that is the message. Oh, last message is very sentiment. Sentimental and very important message. So we need to keep those messages. What is that? Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya is given. And those who study this uh, engineering course also, you study all the technical aspects of engineering. And finally, they will teach you industrial management. How to apply that in the industry. So that is more important. Otherwise, what is the use of studying all the scriptures? In the same way here, Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya is giving the instruction. Very nice and beautiful instruction. Okay, simple. We can remember, uh, <laughs> these are all the instructions are very, very important when we move on the road the path of realization. So the students, they ask and he instructed. This is the first sloka. There are five slokas we are going to learn in five days. The first sloka. Vedo nityam adhiyatam taduditam karma sonushthiyatam tene shasya vidiyatam apachiti kame matis tejjatam paapaugha paridhuyatam bhavasuke doshora sandhiyatam Atmecha vyavasiyatam nijagriha turnam vinir gamyatam. Those who do not know Devanagri, it's okay. Just hear the sound. If it is yajna style, then I can chant, you can repeat. <coughs> now it's not possible to repeat. All the eight points are kept in four lines. Eight points. See how to um, see the academic ability of Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya. He was a great saint great devotee, a great missionary, great visionary. There are so many facets of Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya. The legend, Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya is a legend. Just to 32 years, he made great impact on Sanatana Dharma. Revived. Powerful missionary. So, we worship Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya, the great guru. Jagat guru. That is one aspect. And his avatar of Lord Shiva, one aspect. So when you look at this kind of uh, composition, you have to bring the philosophical thought, you have to bring the instruction, and you have to, you should not exceed the limit of the meter. You make the packet, in the packet you have to fix the thing. It's very difficult. We fix the thing, the packet will break. So you have to pack in a nice way. The same message also should be there. Packet also should be very nice. So that is in the, what, do you, what do you call the intellectual ability, the academic ability of Bhagavan Adi Shankaraja. Eight points in four lines in one sloka. Okay, So one by one we'll see. We can understand in this way. Five steps. Sadhana Panchakam to re realize the truth. Five steps. Every step is made up of eight bricks. We can 
Imagine that way also. <laughs> Five steps, eight bricks. So totally 40 points. Okay. So one by one we'll take. So we'll take one by one. Point and we'll think about it. The first one, Vedo Nitya Madhiyatam. <clears throat> Study the Vedas daily. The literal translation. Study the Vedas. Vedo Nitya Veda. Daily. So here Veda means I don't know, <laughs> know Veda. I know only Vedic chanting. How can I study Veda? Rig Yaju Sama Adarvana. So the meaning is Gurudev, Gurudev right, uh, he wrote commentary for this book, Sadhana Panchak or Gurudev. Study the Vedas daily means study the scriptures daily. That's all. All the scriptures. Ramayana, Mahabharata, Upanishad, Bhagavad Gita, all the scriptures. And we have to make the systematic scheme of studies. Daily we have to read something. So newspaper is different. Weekly magazine is different. He is not telling like that. Study the Vedas daily. He is very careful. Study daily means we will read <laughs> newspaper I am reading. I am studying Vedas. Vedo Nitya Madhiyatam. So daily read your scriptures. The powerful instruction, first to start reading the books, then you can understand what is life, what is moksha, what is bondage, what is sadhana, what is to be <coughs> avoided, what is to be acquired, all the things we can learn. Tasmadu shastram pravanam te karya karya vevasthitav. Krishna says, hey Arjuna, now you are listening from me, the instructions. Just a two, three hours only I am going to instruct. After that, tasmadu shastram pravanam te, shastram. The scriptures are your what do you call, authority. Take the scriptures instruction and move forward. New scriptures are like map indicator. It shows the ways. When we when we lose when we lose our way, so it, it reminds this is the way you have to go in this way. So daily we keep study half an hour or at least fifteen minutes if you don't have time. So take some text and keep. Study. Daily we have to read the scriptures. So he is giving the insight. First to read the scriptures daily. There is one Tamil. So I, I bring whenever, wherever it's possible, I will bring other text also. Okay. So there is the great saint lived in Tamil Nadu, Ulaganadar. His name is Ulaganadar. I mean, he wrote one book that is called Ulaga Nidhi. Therefore, I brought this the background picture Ulaga world. Ulaganadar, Yetshiya Ulaga Nidhi. Ulaga means a loka. His name is Ulaganada and he has composed Ulaga. Very simple. We studied when we were very small. All Tamil um, the students, they will learn this from the school. The first, the first line he wrote, Odamal Uranalam Irikka Venda. Very, very powerful. You know, those who studied Tamil, they know. Odamal Uranalam Irikka Venda. So what he says, never spend a day without learning. See the instruction. All our great saints, they are particular about the study. Daily study should be there. Sir, I went to school, I went to college, university, I finished my studies. Once a week, if I, when, I, when I got this, uh, what do you call the convocation, I dropped all my studies. Appa, sir, I finished my studies. Hereafter, I will not go to study anything. Sir, it should not be like that. It's academic information we are getting from universities. Academic information is totally different. Information, that's all. The study means study about ourselves, study about life. is more important. So we have taken so many janmas in the earlier period. So many janmas. In all the janmas, we never had that kind of chance to study. Now we are very lucky to have this Manisha Janma. Only Manisha Janma we have had. Through this head, only expanding this head by study, we will reach the ultimate goal. So study is very, very important. We have to develop. Suppose we do not have a craving for the study, we have to develop the taste for the study. Slowly, slowly. Very, very important point. Okay? Pedo nitya madhiyatam. This is indicator, that's all. Why should I study? Whenever we, we, we keep on studying, this, this scriptures are showing the path. Indicator. When you move on the ocean, the ocean, when we sail the ocean, we are sitting the boat. 
suppose we lost this, what do you call the indicator, the compass, we lost, it fell down the ocean, that's a repair. We do not know the direction, everywhere the water, blue color water, that's all. We do not, we do not know the direction, which direction we have to go. So sailing the boat without compass, leading the life without studying the scriptures. Is it okay? Therefore, Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya says that daily study should be there. We should not say that I do not have time. We have time for to sleep. We have time to eat. All the basic things we are doing in the same way, we have to make study as a basic uh, for that, the act of our life. The first point is over. Is it okay? So this much thinking is, suppose if you get more thinking on this point, please add some slides. Moving to second one. Taduditam karma Once you should learn the scriptures, not only we have to keep that points as a academic ideas, or some points we studied, I understood. Bhagavan Adishankaracharya says, once if you study and understand, Try to practice it. Powerful instruction. Tad uditam. Tad uditam. It's, we are what that, getting the points from the books. Tad uditam. Uditam means Suryodaya. Like that. The points are coming out of the books. Once if we convinced about that point, karma swanishtiyatam, then you start. Is anushtiyatam means it is to be followed. Swanishtiyatam, you have to follow. <laughs> He's very careful to... Uh, give the instructions. Swanashtiyata, you have to follow. Otherwise, we will read and we will ask other people, you follow, it is told like this, okay? It is told like this in the book, you follow. Bhagavan Adi Sangri, hey, Swanashtiyata, you follow. <laughs> Are you getting it? The difference between Anushtiyata and Swanashtiyata, we have to follow. So, perform diligently the duties ordained by them. So, it is very, when you translate it, you can... Uh, translate like this one. There is a limitation. There is a limitation from one original language to another language. If you translate, there are limitations are there. The swanishtiyatam, okay? You can understand the weight of the word swanishtiyatam. Try to practice it. Second instruction. This is a very interesting point. All the 80, all the 40 points will have a small, small, small connection. Very nicely will the flow, the thought flow will connect uh, with other thought. Very interesting to notice. There is one more. Uh, first, uh, I told you the Ulagana other one more. The great saint, three world were lived in Tamil Nadu. 3,000 years back, 2,500 years back. His uh, poet Sangha, Sangha Kala Pulavar. He says Sangha Kala Pulavar. The poet of Sangha, the time we did have Sangha. Karka kasadara karpavai katshapin adarakkitaga. Learn what is to be learned. With no flaws, once learned, stand by what you learned. <laughs> karke kasadara. Without uh, kasadara karke, without mistake, we have to learn. Karpoi, whatever we learn, that is to be learned without mistake. Katrapin, after learning this, once if you learn, nirke, adark taga nirke, we have to practice that. That's very simple. Very simple. Those who know Tamil, they enjoy this. The original as it is. Karaka, Kasadara, Karapavai, Kachapin, Rika, Adarkitag. The same point Bhagavan Adishankara Chari is bringing here. Vedo Nitya Madhiyata means Karaka, Kasadara, Karapavai, Kachapin, Adarkitag, Nirka. We have to practice whatever we learn. Taduditam Karma Swanashtiyatam. Second instruction. Read the scriptures daily and try to practice. Okay? If you are not practicing, try to practice. It's very difficult. Simply, I'm telling the instruction is given, therefore, I'm also telling. <laughs> Even one instruction, it's very, very difficult to practice. We have to make a lot of effort to practice it. Why? We are we are what is standing somewhere else. Actual means different, ideal means different. Ideal means shown by the scriptures. Actual me where I'm standing. Why? Puru Janma Samskara. Puru Janma Samskara is so strong. So I know what is, how I have to be. What is to be practiced. But ideal means totally different from 
uh, actual means totally different from ideal. So we have to climb. We have to climb and we have to reduce the distance between the actual me and the ideal. Then only we can bring the points to practice. So we have to study where I am standing, what scriptures are talking. <laughs> so many times we, we say and we discuss in the study class also. Sorry, all the points I understood, but it's very difficult to practice. Yes, very difficult to practice. Krishna also says in Bhagavad Gita, third chapter, 33 sloka. So if you go and uh, st study our Gurudev's commentary, he says, yes, it's very difficult to practice. So simply Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya says that you practice. Sir, I know. <laughs> what I have learned, I have to practice. I know, sir, but there is a difficulty in that. Krishna says, Sadrisham Cheshtate Swasyaha Prakriti Jnanavanapi Prakriti Miyanti Bhutani Nigraha Kim Karishyati. Very beautiful sloka. Krishna accepts the truth, universal truth. Krishna says, no, 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 you have to practice whatever I say, you have to practice. Krishna was not commanding us. He was not commanding. He says, yes, Arjuna, I accept it. Sadr Swasyaha Jnanavanapi, even though the person who studied the scriptures, Jnanavanapi, Sosyaha Prakriti. Sosya. His own Prakriti, his own nature, he follows. Sadrisham. Sosyaha Prakriti he Sadrisham Cheshtate. Even the person studied all the scriptures, okay, he kept everything's ideal me. But he is doing according to his own nature only. Then what to talk about the ordinary person? Kim Puna Mudaha. Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya writes commentary for this. Kim Puna Mudaha. Then what to talk about for foolish man? The man who studied the scriptures, he himself is struggling so hard to practice the points. Then what to talk about Kim Punar Mudaha, Mudaha. It's very difficult. Prakriti Myanti Bhutani. All the jivas are, even though they study, they follow their own nature. Why? Purajana Samskara is so powerful. The pressure from the Purajana Samskara is so powerful. Therefore, the instruction is in another packet and we follow another packet. Nigraha Kim Karishati. If you if you give instruction again and again, you don't do like this, don't do the man is getting irritated, frustrated. He started scolding him. Yes. First, you practice, sir. Again and again, you are trying to correct me. You practice, then you come and correct me. Where? Where, where is this happening? In our own house, own home. Repeatedly, I'm telling you, you are not listening. Hey, that is not my nature, okay? <laughs> you keep repeating it, I will not listen. Why? My nature is so different. Why people are not able to grasp it and follow it? Because pressure of the Puru Janma Samskara. Consciously, when we make effort, then only it is possible to bring the ideas in our practice. Jnanavanapi. So this is very important point from Bhagavad Gita. Jnanavanapi. Sosyaha prakrite sadrasham cheshtate. So we cannot compromise. Oh, very good, very nice. Krishna himself told that. Yadavanapi, it's very difficult. Then just leave all the idea. Sir, he accepts the universal truth and he says that this is the difficulty. If you make effort, it's possible. Okay? So, taduditam karma sonashti yatam. You try to practice whatever you learned. This is the second instruction he has given. The third instruction, Tene Shasya Vidhiyatam. And whatever you practice, <coughs> don't keep it. So you offer all those things at the feet of the Lord. Offer the karma, karma, fruit of karma. Dedicate all these karmas as your worship of the Lord, Almighty Lord. Dedicate all the works, all the activities at the feet of the Lord. Very powerful instruction. This is Bhagavad Gita. We told Bhagavad Gita in one line, one simple capsule. Are you getting it? This is Tena Ishasya Vidhiyatam. You worship or dedicate all the activities at the feet of the Lord. So simple line, this is nothing but all 700 slokas, 18 chapters of Bhagavad Gita, he kept in simple line. That's all. Bhagavad Gita in simple line. Therefore, the sadhana panchangam is very, very important. Simple uh, what the instructions. I hope you're getting the point. See the line. Vedo nitya madiyatam, taduditam karma sonushtiyatam, tene eshasya vidiyatam. See the line. Third floor. What a brilliant. 
teacher, Bhagavan Adi Shankaraj. Okay, then he shall say with the dedicate all this activity. Okay, now we will think about this. Now, see, this is in Bhagavad Gita, you know, on uh, chapter 3, 30 years loka. Mai Sarvani Karmani Sanyasi Adhyatma Chetasa Nirashi Nirmama Bhutva Yudhyasu Vigadha Juraha. Very popular slogan. You have to dedicate all these activities to dedicate. Keep your mind on me. Dedicate all your activities towards me. Don't think about past. Don't worry about future. Don't have any tension in the present and enjoy your life. Yudhyasva. Enjoy your life. Very powerful instruction. Mai Sarvani Karmani Sanyasya. Offer. Krishna himself says. What Bhagavan Adi Shankara said, told you here, Tena Ishasya Vidya, dedicate all the activities to the Lord. So Asharya says, dedicate. Who told? Lord himself told in Bhagavad Gita. Very interesting. So Krishna told, in second person, the first person singular, dedicate. The third, the third person, Bhagavan Adi Shankara said, he do it, whatever he told Bhagavad Gita. See, the dots are getting connected. Very, very interesting. And another place, Bhagavan Krishna says, Mad karma krit, mad paramo, mad bhakta sangha varjitaha, nirvaira sarva bhuteshu, yasa mameti pandava. Mad karma krit. Dedicate all activities to me. So many places in Bhagavad Gita, you can take sample slokas I brought. Another place also, Krishna says, Yetu sarva, this is 12th, <coughs> this is 11th uh, chapter, this is 12th chapter. Yetu Sarvani Karmani Mai Sanyasya Matparaha Nanyaya Naiva Yogera Maam Dhyayanta Upasate. Dedicate to me. So many times. The Arjuna dedicate. Dedicate. Almighty Lord. Again, one more place. Abhya Sepya Samarthose Matkarma Parama Bhava. If you do not have the ability to practice, to bring your mind to me, at least you do all your work dedicated to me. Matkarma Paramo Bhava, dedicate all the activities to me. Madhartama Bhai Karma Ani Kurvan Siddhya Mavapsasi. If you dedicate all the activities, you will, you will get Siddhi, you will get Moksham Darjuna. Dedicate. That's a sample slokas. If you go to 18th chapter, you can collect so many slokas. So again and again, repeated is, you see, dedicate, the, dedicate to me. Or get up. I will protect you. What Krishna told in Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya brought that idea here. Tene shasya vidiyatam. Dedicate. Dedicate means what? <laughs> dedicate means. Um, suppose you, we bring something. We bring something. We, we dedicate. Sir, you bring something over that um, in your hand and you dedicate. You give it. Dedicate means giving. So here, dedicate, how to dedicate this activity means we have to set the attitude in our mind. Whatever activities we are doing in our life, it is given by Almighty Lord. We have to do it with perfection. That's all. So the mindset is called a dedication. So he has given this all the personal life. This personal life is nothing but his wish. This official life is nothing but his wish. Social life, personal life, official life, whatever the activities we are doing in any region, everything is offered by him. We have to do as an instrument in his hand. That's all. This, this attitude is called dedicated activities. I hope you are getting the point. Okay? Are you getting it? Dedication means what? Dedicated. I dedicated, I dedicate this book to my father, memory of my father. That means what? The mindset. I offer whatever the effort I made, whatever the, the energy I brought out, whatever the money I spent, everything collect together and given to him the same way. So Lord only provided this body, <laughs> the instrument. He only provided the mind, mental strength, the intellectual ability. So, no need to compare with other people. So, this is the intellectual ability of mind that's all. This is the mental, uh, what is that? The balance. This is the, um, the physical frame. 
So whatever the instrument he has given me, that instrument, whatever we can do, we can do. So when we do like that, we have to understand, we, we are doing all the things as his representative, that's all. That is called dedication. Okay. So we have to bring that kind. Otherwise, even small work when you do, when you get success, we will attach with the success. Then we are influenced by the ego. Then again, we are completely deviated from the yoga marga. Finished. <laughs> Whether we get failure or, or a success. Even if I get failure, or because of him only I got the failure. Success. Because of him I got the success. It's not important than every battlefield I have to win. Krishna says, Sukadukke samaya kirtva laba labo jaya jayau. Hey Arjuna, even though you are my devotee, you may get dukkha, you may get ajaya, you may get alaba. Because you are my devotee, it is not uh, compulsory that every time you have to get only sukham, only jayam, only uh, what do you call Labam. Uh, you get other things also. But work like this. Dedicate all the activities to me. Is it okay? Why should we <laughs> dedicate? Why should we dedicate to the Almighty Lord? Now, Bhagavan, Ramana Magrishi comes and he helps us. It's an Upadesha Saram. Bhagavan Ramana Magrishi says, Kriti Maho Dado Patanakaranam Palama Shashwadam Gadi Nirodakam. If you do all the activities with the ego, I do it. When I do it, fruit should come to me only. If you have ego in your work, definitely you will have attachment to the fruit. That is the law of the universe. I do it. So fruits should come to me. I have to get the recognition. People should recognize me. My name should be there in the bold. Font size. Increase the font size of my name. <laughs> Give me extra color. My name should be there. I have to be recognized. Ah. When you attach with the karma, the fruits also will be attached. Okay. Bhagavan Ramana Magrishi says in Upadeshara, Kriti Mahodado Patanaka. Mahodado means big ocean. Ocean of activity. Samsara. The samsara is made up of all activities. Kriti Mahodado Patanaka. The reason of the fall in the ocean of samsara Palama Shashvatam. We are attached with the palam, fruits of action. The fruits of action, attachment with the fruits of action only, reason for our samsara. Gadi Nirodakam, the fruits of action only, blocking our path towards the goal. Gadi Nirodakam. Gadi means the path, of, uh, the path towards realization. So it is blocked with big boulder. What is that? Fruits of action. Very, very nicely he brought the sloka. Bhagavan, Ramana Magrishi himself made this. Is master of Tamil and master of Sanskrit, Ramana Magrishi. So we are worshipping all the saints like God. That's okay. But we have to appreciate, we have to understand their academic capacity. Are you getting it? More than PhDs. So we, 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 uh, we don't see this, the ability of the great masters. You want to say divinity is there, we worship. That's okay. That is there, always. But we have to see this also. Ability to write original thoughts in Sanskrit. Ability to write original thoughts. The same thing he wrote in Tamil also. Upadesa Undiya, that is called. In Sanskrit, it is called Upadesa Saram. In Tamil, that is called Upadesa Undiya. Very beautiful composition. Okay? So, when you attach with the action, <coughs> fruits of action, then we fall into ocean of samsara, we will not reach the goal of life. Therefore, so then what we have to do, he himself gives a, a, a solution. Ishwararpitam nechayakritam chitta shodakam mukti sadakam. Beautiful line. Ishwararpitam, when you dedicate all your activities to the Lord, Almighty Lord, nechayakritam, we are not attached with fruits of action and action. We dedicate. All the activities are given by the Lord. We dedicate our time, lifetime, our energy, our effort, then we make it as a worship of the Lord. Worshipping Lord not by the flowers, worshipping the Lord by doing activities. Activity itself will become very tasty. No need to motivate anyone. Uh, we don't want any motivator to motivate. No need to have any refresher course. 
I'm always a fresh one. I'm always motivated. So no need to have, when we do Bhagavad, when you live like or the, the life of Bhagavad Gita, no need to have anyone to push. There is no need of any supervisor. We ourselves will be very inspiring, very dynamic and we can move with a joyful mood. Ishvara Arpitam Naya Kirtam. Ishvara Arpitam Naya Kirtam. Chitta Shodakam. So when we do this dedication, that cleans our mind. Mukti Sadakam. That leads towards the Mukti. Here what he told, when we attach with the fruit, Gadi Nirodakam. Mukti will be closed. The door of Moksha will be closed. When we dedicate Ishvara Arpitam, Mukti will be attained. Moksha will be very interesting. So Bhagavan Ramana Magrisha Magrish also comes and supports Sri Krishna's message in Bhagavad Gita. The whole Bhagavad Gita in two lines over. The complete Karma Yoga concept in two lines from Bhagavan Ramana Magrish. Therefore, Tene Isha Se Vidiyatam. Okay? The fourth point. Apachiti Kame Matis Tejatam. Apachiti renounce all desires in the mind. <coughs> Try to renounce all the desires in the mind. It's a very interesting uh, uh, thing when we notice in our life. The activities are given. We are very much involved in the activities, very busy doing our work. At that time, unnecessarily desire comes from outside. <laughs> okay, desires are what? Unnecessary deviations in our path. We are already busy. The work is given. Okay, when we are very busy, the desires are coming from outside and try to deviate. Therefore, Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya says, Apachiti Kamiya Matis Tejatam, unnecessary desire. Is it okay? Sir, need is different and desire is different. So we need to have a home. Yes, that is need. We need to have luxury. That is, if luxury comes according to our karma, then we can receive it. <laughs> not spending any time or effort. It comes automatically. Ah, receive it. That is karma. We are not desiring it. So desire is a, the thing. It's a deviating us from our path. <laughs> I hope you are getting the point. So if we need to have a car, we need to buy it. Yeah, we need to have a car. So we are go, working for the rate. Almost this car is a better car. A rate also more or less the same. Okay, we can go for a better car. There's no wrong in it. But I want to have a car for the purpose of my work. Suppose we think this car is the luxurious and I have to enjoy, then there comes a the problem. Okay. Getting it? So we need to think more about what is desire, what is need. Desire means what? I want to have it. Then I have it, I enjoy my life. Then the desire comes. And it creates a problem. Bhagavan Buddha also says, desire is a cause of all the miseries. Apachiti kame matis tejjatam. Our Gurudev says, a mind that is rendered extrovert will not be available for deep study. <laughs> when you have desire, the mind goes out extrovert. We do not have what that mind for the deep study and for continuous reflection. Study should be there, reflection should be there. The scriptural ideas studied. <laughs> so mind is always what that with the desires. It's very busy outside. Extravert. When the mind is very busy, extravert, outside, so mind is not available to study the scriptural ideas, deep study and reflection. You're getting it? Therefore, the scriptures are recommending us to reduce your desire. After some time, we have to eradicate all the desires that is on the different level. Why should I reduce my desires? Because when mind is busy with the desire, mind is not available to study the scriptures, to reflect and to practice. Very logical point he gives, or Gurudev. So these are the points from his commentary on Panchadashi, uh, Sadhana Panchak. Are getting it? Is it okay? Ah. Whether we have desire or not. 
that is not recommended why it is or the, the desire is taking our mind so mind is not available for deeper work therefore sadhakas are or the requested or asked to drop the desires apachati kamya matistejjatam this is instruction ordinary persons can have so many desires they can live only on desires without desire they die <laughs> okay all the instructions are meant for the sadhakas we have to remember that జ్ఞానినో నిత్య వైరిన కృష్ణ సిస్ జ్ఞానినో నిత్య వైరిన ఆవృతం జ్ఞానమేతేన జ్ఞానినో నిత్య వైరిన సో దిస్ కాన్స్టంట్ ఎనిమీ పర్మనెంట్ ఎనిమీ ఫర్ జ్ఞాని స్కామ కామరూపేణ కౌంతేయ దుష్పూరేణ అనలేన దిస్ వన్ థర్డ్ చాప్టర్ హే అర్జున కామయేష క్రోధయేష రజోగుణ సముద్దోహ మహాశనో మహాపాప విద్య ఎనిమే వైరీనం ఇఫ్ ఆర్ అసాధక దట్ డిజైర్ ఇస్ ఓర్ ఎనిమీ If you are a sadhaka, otherwise ordinary person desires their life without desire, they die. Because your goal is totally different, your path is different. Therefore, for you, the karma is enemy. Are you getting it? Not for all. The person who is taking out the, the Ayurvedic medicine, all the restrictions are there. If you take Ayurvedic medicine and that medicine also will die in two days, that's all. so this is meant for this kind of student those who are going the path of knowledge jnanina nitya jnanina nitya vairi is a constant enemy for jnani not for ajnani kama rupena kaunte the desire is arjuna dushpurena analena is very difficult to fulfill therefore you have to be careful of jaki shatru mahabaho kama rupam durasadam those who want to get out of how to conquer desire <coughs> no need to worry about desire it is there okay in janma janmantra so many janmas we entertained that still it is there okay let it be there first of all no need to worry okay we understand this is a problem to understand the problem and study the problem and we can uh, go that uh, make a chart that how to conquer it then slowly we will make effort to conquer it that's all all the points are given third chapter last part krishna mm-hmm. arjuna has the question arjuna uvach atakena prayuktoyam papam sarati purusha anichchanna api varshneya baladiva niyojitha even though i am not interested but something is pushing me to do papa what is that shri bhagavan uvach kama yesha krodha yesha the desire is a problem desire only converts into or getting converted into krodha therefore kama yesha krodha yesha it is told in singular kama yesha krodha same kama only same krodha okay it's not given the dual kama yesha krodha yesha this kama itself is a krodha why unfulfilled kama will transform itself as krodha this is what gurudev says adi shankaracharya adi shankaracharya also says the same thing so kama is a root okay so jnani na nitya vair not for hard mood of purusha therefore try to avoid if you are very busy outside we do not have mind to reflect therefore the fifth point paabhau paapaugha paridhuyatam paapaugha wash away the holds of sins in the bosom bosom paapaugha the holds of sins wash away parithuyatam wash away. try to wash hello papa because papas are the, the, the what do you call the hindrance to get the knowledge you got to clean so we wash our cloth we wash our what that the floor washing our car this is made by the the, the the dirt is deposited we have to wash it rough wash clean wash what that a smooth wash <laughs> fine wash so different layers of the papa is there janma janma same we never study anything we never went to universities in all the janmas all kinds of thing we we were doing only to collect the papa layers of papas many many janmas this is a glorious janma we got now we are trying to clean the papa papa uga paridhuyata all the negative thoughts okay so gurudev says an end product every selfish act 
Gurudev says, Gurudev is always very, very interesting in the interpretate. Very nice interpretation he used to give. The end product of every selfish act, every selfish act, a tendency is left. Okay? The tendency in our personality, which prompts us to repeat the similar act. That is called vasana. We can call it vasana, tendency, or sin. You getting it? Vasana. Otherwise, it is called a tendency. It is called a sin. Okay? Tendency is so in other religion and all they talk about sin 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 means what the tendency which is created by selfish act so sin is taking away from the path it's deviating from the path that is called a sin so different uh, thing it's not a negative activity is called a sin here you, you're getting it so if you go a little deeper into philosophy the selfish act, the end of every selfish act, tendency is created. That tendency is called sin. Why? It is deviating us from the goal. Therefore, our scriptures are telling that don't do this kind of selfish activity. Selfish activity is deviating. So every instruction has got the reason. Why scriptures are telling us? When we instruct our children, we do not say the reason. Simply we are ordering, hey, do it, that's all. And the child is asking, why? Why should I do? <laughs> we do not know answer. Do it, that's all. Da. Don't ask question. I do not know the answer. <laughs> Get up early in the morning. Why? Early morning only very nice sleep. Today is Sunday. Till 10 o'clock I will sleep. Saturday, Sunday. I will sleep. Get up early. Why? Give me the reason. Because the early morning, mind is very fresh not involved in any worldly activities. There is no problem, no fighting, no... It is not very fresh, like sharp knife. If you get up 5 o'clock till 7 o'clock, you just study and do analysis and do all PhD work and everything. First two hours, fresh mind, use it. And afterwards, you use this mind for other activities. You getting it? There is a the logic behind why people are telling fresh mind should be used for uh, great work. You're getting it? The knife, is, the knife is very sharp. So main work, <laughs> you do it with the sharpness, main work. Then afterwards, ordinary work. Tomato you can cut evening 4 o'clock. <laughs> tomato, <laughs> sharpness. You're getting it? Huh. Therefore, that early morning, all spiritual activities, studies, why our uh, rishis were recommending the early morning? The same way. Every instruction has got some reason behind it. Okay? The sixth point, Bhavasuke dosha anusandhiyatam. Bhavasuke dosha anusandhiyatam. Bhavasuke. Recognize that the pleasures of sense objects are riddled with pain. Recognize. Vedanta is not negative. Vedanta is showing the thing as it is. Seeing the thing as it is. Not otherwise. But the poets, <laughs> almost well, many poets, they show the thing otherwise. You getting it? In Vairagi Shataka, in Vairagi Shataka, it says, our Bhartruhari, the poets only exaggerating the thing which is not there. Therefore, our mind is going behind the poets and we get into problems. But Vedanta is showing the thing as it is a reality. But what we understand, we understand that we misunderstand the Vedanta is always um, showing the negative view. I, Vedanta is showing the right view. I hope you, 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 you get the point. Your face is like moon. How many hours? How that? Just two hours. Powder is supplied. Lotion is supplied. When you do work and come back, then all the, the moon has gone. Sun has come. <laughs> Getting sweating everywhere. 
You getting it? Shvetanda <laughs> says everything is impermanent. How fact? You, you, your hair is like what they call the cloud in the space. Cloud. It just come after five years. Half of the cloud has gone. Shvetanda <laughs> says impermanent. Agama bhaira anitya ha tamti tikshasva bharata. You getting it? Vedanta is not not that giving a negative. Actually, fact, it is telling the fact, but we do not have that ability to digest the fact. Therefore, we are telling Vedanta is always negative. Super Vedanta is always perfect view. See the thing as it is and understand it. You will not fall for it. That's what Vedanta says. Very brilliant idea. Bhavasukya dosha anusandhiyata. So in our case, we say only in the Bhava Sukha, in the, in the, what is that, in the Sukha, we are not seeing any dosha. Dosha we are not seeing, only Sukha. We try to get the Sukha only from that. Sir, all the Sukha, the pleasure is riddled with pain. Because it is created in such a way, to, with, with, such a way that when we come into space and uh, what that time concept, okay, impermanence is there. And endowed with pain, that's all. You cannot take only the sukham without pain. So when you take the sukham, pain also will be supplied freely. Free. You get to one, <laughs> buy one, get two free. <laughs> one sukham, two dukham is free. <laughs> I don't want to, so what that uh, dosham, only sukham. No, no, no. Without dosham, without pain, you cannot take the sukham. Wherever we live, wherever, all over the world, wherever we go, this is the system of the creation. Powerful system. Bhava Sukhe Dosha Anusandhi Yata. So in our case, what happens to we? Our mind goes into Sukham. But our mind, but that, it's, um, it's not ready to see the Dosha. Even though sometimes we see the Dosha, ah, that will be there, we should not take it seriously. This is what we train our mind. <laughs> Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya says that, hey, gee, don't see this, but see this more. If you see more dosham, then mind will not go behind the pleasure, is what he says. Train your mind in that way. Now, so many years we, we saw only the, the sukham. We never see the dosham. That's it. Try to see the dosham. But we should not. Bhavasakya dosha anusandhiyatma. Again and again, we have to keep on repeating the mind. Varam varam. Narisdhanaparanabhidesham drishtvamaha mokavesham. How he says in Bajagovind. Again and again you have to think. Again and again. Train your mind in such a way that mind will come back. When we give instruction to the mind, mind will come back. Otherwise, the wrong instructions given by movies or poets, exaggerated. So, so many books. Therefore, mind goes behind this. Now, study the scriptures. Train the mind. Show the mind the reality and mind will be coming back. That's all. This is powerful instruction for the sadhaks. The last instruction is given. Bhava suke dosha anusandhiyata. Come back. What an instruction. Eh? But we should not talk outside. Other people are having only that Bhava <laughs> so we, we don't want, we are going in another way. If mind goes to the Bhava Sukha, then we have to train the mind to bring it back. The instruction for sadhaks. Okay? That's a very interesting point that Bhagavan Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita. Fifth chapter. Yehi samsparsha ja boga dukha yona yevate adhyamta vanta kaunte yana teshu rabate budaha. Krishna says, hey, there is pleasure in Arjuna. There is pleasure. I am not denying that there is no pleasure is there. All the things we, we do for them, we make a, what do you call, soup. The cold climate soup, hot soup. Ah, pleasure is there. And a pepper. And we're adding more pleasure. Like a juice, hot summer juice. And we put some ice cream, uh, ice, what is that, ice cube. A little more pleasure. <laughs> there is no wrong in it. There is no wrong in it. Yeah, it is there. When we eat, when we sleep, when we wear very nice dress material, gold, money, position, power, 
somebody is praising us, ah, pleasure is there. Krishna is not denying. Krishna says, yes, it is there. Because I created in that way only. Ehi samsparshaja boga. When you touch with the physical body or mind, whichever the way, subtle or grass, samsparsha means touching it. Mind goes and touches. Or the body goes and touches. It is there. Pleasure is there. Samsparshaja boga. Dukkha yonaya yevate. This is the origin of the pain. <laughs> origin of the pain. And he says, Adhyanta vanta kaunde. Adhi antam is there. There is a, no, what is that? The opening point and end point. There is Adhi and Anta in all the pleasures. We take some cool drinks. We start cool. Just in two minutes, we can finish. But the people are not finishing two minutes. Seven minutes, ten minutes. <laughs> Well, ex try to extend this pleasure. No? Try to extend it. That's it slowly will get. As a laddu, we can in one stretch we can eat, but we do one one bundi and we eat it. Irritating the opposite person also. <laughs> try to extend the uh, joy. Ah, these is there, Andam is there. One day before, one hour back we started eating the laddu. After two hours we finish it. Anyway, two hours. Be extended, but Adi Antam is there. The starting point is there, end point is there. Therefore, Krishna says, Adi Antam Antam Kaunthe Na Teshu Ramate Buddha, Buddhiman. The man of wisdom will not uh, involve in that. Na Ramate, Na Teshu Ramate Buddha, Buddhiman will not go for it. That's what he says, Krishna. It is there, pleasure is there. But the nature of pleasure, the pleasure means the pain will be there. And every pleasure, is created by the touch of mind or body. The pleasure is the source of all the pain. And it has got the starting point and end point. Therefore, the man of wisdom, once if he understands, he will not go for it. That's all. So, this analysis, when we do the analysis of Bhagavad Gita, when we bring that point in our life, the temptation will not be there. You're getting it? The temptation comes because there is no analysis. When we analyze, there is no temptation. You're getting it? You can leave with the object, but it, you are not tempted. You getting it or not? It is tempting me. Tempting me means what? Buddhi is not working. <laughs> Buddhi works and Buddhi understands the nature of the object. There is no temptation. Very interesting point. Temptation belongs to mind. So when you analyze like this, taking this is the message, powerful message of Bhagavad Gita. When you, st when you study Bhagavad Gita, what happens to our, in our life? We are not tempted. Even though temptation comes, the intellect comes and the intellect says, Hey, sure, keep quiet. Adhyanta vanta. Dukkha yoni. So this intellect educates the mind. You getting it? This is the life of Bhagavad Gita. <clears throat> so try to see the fact as it is. Actually, Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya says that try recognize the pleasures. A sense object uh, are riddled with the pain. Bhavasuke dosha anu sandhiyata. He gives extra in instruction. Try to see the dosha. Actually, he told, you see the thing as it is. So seeing the thing as it is. Very great instruction. The seventh point. Atme cha vyavasiyata. Seek the self with consistent endeavor. Seek the self. Atme cha. Atma icha vyavasiyata. Seek this. Seeker. Do you become seeker? Searching means search and seek. There is two words in English. Searching means what? We lost something. We are searching. We lost car key. Most of the places, house, we will leave, we will, uh, what that, um, leave only car, car key. Or sometimes phone. We kept it silent. Ask somebody to call, silent. They were unable to find out what the cell phone. Searching. We lost search. Seeking, we found. Now we are not over searching the uh, Atma, we are seeking it. Why? We understood there is there. It is there. So we understood, hey, the car key is there, but I have to get it. If you do not know where is the car key, then it's searching. Once if you know the car key is there, then you seek it. You getting it? 
See, we understood what is what. Having understood what is what, then we are trying to reach it. That is called seeking. Seek. Atmecha vivasiyata. Mind released from the outer world must be immediately re-employed in contemplating upon the nature of the self. When we take mind from outside, okay, we have to give immediate job to mind. Right? The mind's nature is always to hold something. It's very busy. Mind is always busy. When we take mind from other direction, we have to give some other job. Some people in our office also we have seen. If as the person keep quiet, he will not keep quiet. He will do. If you say that don't go there, you are creating problem. He will not go there, and he will go in another place creating the problem. <laughs> so we have to redirect that fellow. His nature is like that only. So mind also without something it cannot stand. So you, you need something to hold. In Tamil, we say that Irai Patri, Adai Patri, Arasi Irai Patri, Anmigatai Patri, Puraladaratai Patri. Patri, Patri means holding that. Tamil, we say Patri. Patri is holding. So without holding something, mind cannot stand. So mind released from the outer world. When we when you take the mind from the outer world, it must be immediately re-employed in contemplating the self. So when you ask why mind is always going extraward, why it is extraward, why it is going out, because we do not know what is self. Once if you understand what is self and it is to be attained, then automatically mind comes towards it. So we, the mind needs to have something to entertain. I know you understood this point. Atmecha vivasiyatha. Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Shanaihi, Shanaihi, Oparai Veda, Buddhiya, Dhridhi, Grihite. Mind goes outside, slowly, slowly, over to bring it back. Atma samstha manakritva na kinchida pichindaye. You have to bring back the mind towards Atma. <laughs> mind is going outside. Sanehi, Sanehi, Uparved, Buddhya, through Buddhi, using the Buddhi, bring back the mind. Once if you bring back the mind, you're... so we have pet in our home. If you open the house, it goes outside, garden. We have very big garden, it's very difficult to catch that dog. <laughs> very difficult. It's roaming. The area is so much. Once the mind, once if we get the dog inside, then we will keep it in a small room, the control room. The so mind should come back and mind should meditate on Atma. Yato yato nischardi manas chanchala masthiram. So mind goes like dog outside, big area. Tatas tatas niya, tatas tato niyam yaitatu, Atma neva vasham So he has to bring back and keep the mind in, in Atma. So all whole sixth chapter in one line. Atvecha Vyavasiyata means Bhagavad Gita sixth chapter. Interesting. It's very tasty to read our scriptures, reflect our scriptures point. Very interesting. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree, please. <laughs> very nice thoughts. Nice thoughts. It goes. So our mind is not coming to Atma, it goes. Krishna accepts, yes, it will go outside. It will go. So Krishna is a very compassionate teacher. Krishna is a very not strict teacher. <laughs> Even if you get a 20 mark out of 100, he says, very good mark. <laughs> very good, you are pass. I got fail mark, oh Lord. I, mark, I got fail mark. 40% if I get your pass mark. So 20 you, you get, I will give you 20. So anyway, you get pass mark. So Krishna is a very compassionate teacher. <laughs> Suppose we get uh, 10 marks. Uh, okay, not 10, very five. I am very poor, poorest student in Bhagavad Gita class. I get only five. Krishna says, you are pass. Why? I will give you 35 mark. <laughs> it's very compassionate. 
even if you go to one percentage, you will give what is that? Thirty-nine percentage. Compassionate. He says that it's okay. It goes out. Don't worry. Yato yato nischar. He says that yato 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 nischar. Ti manaha chanchala mastira mundi. Mind is not stable. It, it goes out. Don't worry. Try slowly. Try. So it takes so many janmas. I will give you nice janma. Come slowly. Aneke janma samsiddha tato yati param gati. I will make comfortable place where to take birth. So you come very slowly, but you make effort. You become my boy. Okay? You become my person. And slowly, slowly you can come. Then Lord Krishna's compassion. Yato yato nuschardi manas chanjala mastiram. It will go like that. Slowly, slowly you come back. Shanaihi, Shanaihi, oh brother, slowly, slowly, bring mind towards me. What a great teacher, Lord Krishna. We are very lucky to study Bhagavad Gita. Hmm? The last point in this uh, sloka, Nijagriha Turnam Vinirgamyatam. Escape from the bondage of home. Yes, I also want to escape from home, my home. Your people are not good. People are not good means my family people are not good. How many? Only we are two. You are two, but you want to escape? Yes. You told my family members. I included myself, therefore I told family members. <laughs> Literally, we should not take. Nijagriha turna minir gamyata. Nijagriha escape from the bondage of home. Literally, this is philosophical uh, thought. Okay, the beautiful thought. Nijagrihat, home means what he told. Home means this body is called home. From this body, we have to escape. Okay? So in, there is Bhagavad Purana. Bhagavad Purana. Uh, Srimad Bhagavad Purana. Bhagavan Vedavyasa has written it. 18,000 slokas. 12 cantos. Beautiful, brilliant book. Bhagavad Srimad Bhagavad Purana. Mahapurana. Lord Krishna stories there in 10th canto. So the Bhagavad has got the Mahatimya. The glory of Bhagavadam is told in Padma Purana. That part is kept in Bhagavadam, in the front part of the Bhagavad. So that Bhagavad Mahatmya says about this body, this body, the construction of the body, very nice slokas. This is Bhagavad Mahatmya, fifth chapter. I lead you can understand very easily. The body is made up of Asti stambam. Stambam means when you make a home. So this is the America home or, or the Canada home. They make like this only. Okay. Because you are very popular, therefore I brought it. Actually, when you come to India, the proper home there. The iron pillars, the pillars will be there. Concrete pillar. If you concrete, they make this iron piece. Okay. Concrete pillar will be there. The beams will be there. And they bring the bricks in between the, uh, the concept of the bricks. And after the roof will be, the roof also will be your that. They bring the iron pieces put together, and the roof. The here roof is all wood. Top to bottom only wood. wood. <laughs> Somewhere here and there they bring, but the construction in India is very good. That goes with the sloka, therefore I am telling. The iron pillars, the beam, and uh, the, the brick, uh, brick uh, construction and the roof also they uh, put. Then afterwards, the plastering, you're getting it? Proper plastering, what do you call the cement or the uh, sand, all the plastering and painting. When you go back here, okay? Asti stambam. Stambam is a pillar. What is the stambam here in this body? Asti. Asti. All the bones. This is how the home is made. All the slokas are telling how the home of the body is made. Very beautiful construction. Asti stambam snayu baddam. When you put one iron piece, another iron piece, you put small, like wire, you, you connect it. Snayu means the nervous system. <laughs> Connecting the wires. Asti stambam snayu baddam. Mamsha shonita lepitam. Mamsha shonita is what that? A plastic work. Hey, mamsa. So Lord made this mamsa and Lord put it. Asti stambam snayi connected all the bones. Anyway, everywhere. 
and what was remaining uh, what the the um, a flesh he put here extra only flesh inside <laughs> whatever remaining but pack it here asti stambham snayi baddha mamsha shonita when we mix the cement and the sand we mix with water here mamsha shonita he mixed with blood see the interesting eh? mamsha shonita lepitam and he has to lepitam means plastering work charma vanadam and after that he covered with the charma charma means the skin charma we are doing the plastering what we call painting painting as a charma vanadam durgandham patra mootra purishayo durgandham means you know that fragrances very nice fragrance is kept the whole body i am not telling you you know we are living in this body only for so many years durgandham patra mootra purishayo this is the patra ma mootra purisha i am not translating it the sound itself says what is it okay mootra purishayo jara shoka vipat vika vipakartha means end of jara and shokam the old age and shoka oga roga mandira maturam the name of the house is roga mandira so our name is what is our name um, what is the rama mandira our <laughs> name is the rama mandira ar shanti nilayam ar sam nilay okay sam nilay niketanam so we have a name for that house in the same way what is the name of the house roga mandira maturam this is roga mandira we can have the dollar the uh, what do you call this um, gold dollar r m what is r m roga mandiram <laughs> initial is r roga mandira because it's very difficult to write roga mandira it's very small dollar the roga mandira by from what that till 25 30 years we are very good very healthy 31 40 ayyo all this is started karm all this is without this is nobody is there in the world everybody is taking medicine the food also spoil not only they spoil the food they spoil the seeds also they change the what is that the uh, rack of seed also what is the modified seeds so whatever we eat uh, we get this kind of different disses roga mandira maturam దుష్పూరం దుర్దరం దుష్టం దుష్ట దుష్టత ఇస్ దేర్ ఇట్స్ మేడ్ ఆఫ్ దుష్ట సదోషం ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎండోడ్ విత్ సో మెనీ దోషం క్షణ భంగురం ఇంపర్మనెంట్ ఇట్ విల్ పెరిష్ ఫ్రాక్షన్ ఆఫ్ సెకండ్ క్రిమి విట్ భస్మ సంజ్ఞాంతం ఆల్ కైండ్స్ ఆఫ్ క్రిమి ఇన్సెక్ట్స్ విట్ ఆల్ డర్ట్ ఇస్ దేర్ భస్మ సంజ్ఞాంతం వెన్ వీ బర్న్ ఇట్ ఇట్ బికమ్స్ యాష్ శరీరం ఇది నిర్వర్ణితం ద నేమ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ ఇస్ కాల్ శరీరం శరీరం అస్థిరేణ స్థిరం కర్మ కుతోయం సాధయే నహి సాధయే నహి సాధయే నహి అస్థిరేణ దిస్ ఇస్ ఇంపర్మనెంట్ త్రూ ద ఇంపర్మనెంట్ బాడీ హౌ కెన్ యూ గెట్ పర్మనెంట్ లైఫ్ ఎత్ ప్రాత సంస్కృతం చాన్నం సాయం తచ్చ వినశ్యతి వెన్ యూ కుక్ ద మార్నింగ్ సపోజ్ వీ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ దిస్ కుక్ బట్ కుక్ ఫుడ్ ఇన్ దూ కాల్ ది ఫ్రిడ్జ్ రెఫ్రిజిరేటర్ we cook in the morning evening it's getting spoiled okay yet pratah samskritam channam pratah morning time when you cook evening time sayam tacha vinashat evening it gets over or it's getting spoiled yet tad tadiya tadiya rasa samprushto tadiya tadiya rasa means the food the body is made up of food rasam not poon rasam tomato rasam or pepper rasam here <laughs> rasa means the essence of food tadiya rasa means the essence of food tadiya rasa sampushta so sampushte kaaye kaana vanityata even this is, the last thing is very nice morning if you cook evening it's getting spoiled the food is made the body is made up of the same food then what to talk about the body's permanence it's impermanent like food only the food itself is what is getting spoiled then the body is made up of food then what to talk about the body body also will get spoiled what a great instruction of the body therefore nijagriha thurnam enid gamyata we have to get out of this kind of body this is what adi shankara jari says <laughs> great instructions 
it comes in Srimad Bhagavata Mahatime. Brilliant. House means what? Home means what? You have to build like this. So this body is like home. You have to get out from the body. The brilliant poetic description of Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya. Get out of the body. Get out of the house. So whenever we get some uh, that the problem in the home, the fight is there. Fight becomes quarrel. Quarrel becomes a war in the home. And you go to kitchen. You take a few spatulas. I will take a few spatulas. We fight. Tadang, 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 tadang. We fight. And finally, we say that I want to get out of this house. Yes. You have to get that kind of attitude. Get out of the house. But instead of getting out of that house, you have to get out of this house. Okay. This sloka from Srimad Bhagavatam. This is Parikshit Maharaj. This is Parikshit Maharaj. Okay. And sitting. Bhagavan. Sukadev. Sukadev is teaching Parikshit. Seven days is going to die by snake, by takshaka. He our Sukadeva taught Parikshit, Ma, Parikshit Maharaj, Parikshit Raja, all message, information, all knowledge. What happens? The seventh day he is going to die by snake bite. Snake started from the Devaloka. Snake is on the way. One day, second day, third day, fourth day. From first day onwards, Buddha started listening. No food, no water. Prayopavesham. Till the, the, his last time. He didn't take anything, completely kept on listening the stories. He learned all the stories of Mahabharata, Mahab Srimad Bhagavad Mahapurana. What happens when uh, the snake came and snake has to bite him? Before that, he attained Samadhi. You getting it? Before the snake bite, Parishat came out of the body. Bhagavan Takshaka Dibyo Mriti Byona Bibemya. He says, Hey Bhagavan, I'm not getting afraid of Takshaka. He said, Pravishto Brahma Nirvanam. I came out of this body. I entered into all pervading Brahman. Pravishto Brahma Nirvanam. I came out of this body. I entered. Now I'm I'm no more Parikshit. I'm I'm not identified with this body. I can see from this Brahma Siti. This is someone's body. Someone is called Parishit. He is sitting there. Some snake is coming and biting this body. I came out. Aham Brahmasmi. Came out. You getting it? Pravishtaha Brahma Nirvanam. Abhayam Varshitam. This Abhaya, this great fearlessness is shown by you only. This is called Nijagriha Turna Venirgamita. Getting it? What a great, brilliant. Ideas of Bhagavan Adi Shankaraja. The last instruction. The first sloka we finished. Okay. These are the eight points we have studied. Five days, five slokas. Very brilliant class. <laughs> How did you select? It happened like that. One one sloka, <laughs> one one day. This is what we have studied. Vedo nitya madiyatam, taduditam karma sanushtiyatam, tene shasya vidiyatam. Apachiti kame madistejatam, papauga paridu yatam, Bavasuke dosha no sandi yatam, Atmecha vivasi yatam, Nijagriha turnam vinirgam yatam. Okay? You ought to do it, you ought to do it like this. The instruction is tam tam, you ought to do it. It is to be done. It's instruction. Okay? Instruction is very friendly instruction. Nijagriha turnam vinirgam yatam, please get out from the house like that. So the friendliness also mixed in this instruction. Not ordering. Hey, please, do it. It should be done. Please, take care. Like that, he gives. Even the greatest Acharya, the one. Adi Shankara Acharya, the Avatara Purusha of Lord Shiva. Very friendly people. Great teachers. Supreme teachers. With the compassion. Karunalayam, Shruti Smurti Purananam, Alayam, Karunalayam. They're not only great scholars. Karuna, Kripa is there. Because we are all very poor students. Always the bad student, nasty student, and never study. 
whenever we get exam we go to exam with all prepare, preparation we get pen pencil everything paper also we, only zero mark only in single digit only we get a mark before what is that below 9 <laughs> have you studied yeah where is your question paper yeah you only give answer paper yeah. how much mark only one that also grace grace mark okay people like us students like us they are conducting class all eight points so this is translated this okay this is what we studied so tomorrow we will take up the second sloka is it okay the brilliant points so we should not think this is a very simple text no 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 uh, no see sometimes what we have to do you study bhagavad purana the pure text okay study bhagavad gita as a pure text and we have to study other articles of great mahatmas suppose you study bhagavad gita our vivekananda swami's article the general article or general talk in that talk we can understand the subtlety of bhagavad gita getting it so that is also very important studying the scriptures originally we have to study the scripture at the same time the study about the scriptures the other people are telling so we have to listen that also we will understand the another different points of bhagavad gita or other text in the same way so these are all the instructions okay instruction he has given about the scriptures only in the capsule form this is what you have to follow these are the things to be remembered and to be followed like capsule he has given sir we have lunch a heavy lunch but when you are moving you should have this snacks french fry vada all these things we had on the way you have to do some <laughs> eat it okay the same so when we are walking we need to have something therefore okay so tomorrow we will see the next uh, shloka the one shloka we have completed is it okay thank you so much yeah so i will uh, do this uh, purnamada then if you have purnamada mantra if you have any question you will have few minutes then it will conclude okay om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva avashishyate om shanti 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 hari om shri gurubhyo namaha hari om